Hello, it's Aki here. Welcome back to another episode of Hammer Ting. If you are enjoying the content on the channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. If you've already done it, and thanks a lot. Oh, I don't know, you go away for one, one day, two days, and loads changes in Hammer Ting. So, who knows? <laughs> who knew that was going to happen? So, okay, what we've got is we have got <gasps> new things. So, we've got an inclined railway now. There it is. I don't quite know whether you can incline it either way. If there's a way to switch it, no. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't. I don't really know how it how it works. Um, I suppose we'd have to attach it like vertically. So it's like, so, no, because that looks like it's just going to go up. Like, like that. So, maybe I can drag it. Oh, you can drag it. Oh, that's good. So you can drag it all the ways you need. Oh, that, that's quite handy, actually. So, yeah, just so to show that again. Right, I have no idea how that works. So, as you can see, it goes like that, and like that, and like that. Um, I don't know how much inclined railways I'm going to be using, but hey, it's useful. You know, it's an improvement. Uh, what else we've got? We've got the railway station now. The rail station. It's the rail station. Which is good. Which means they've got rid of... They're still obviously on my game. The railway station. They still work. But um, they're being, they've gone. Can no longer build those. Carts are the new platforms. Carts are the old carts. So they're still carts. Carts go up. Carts go down. They go inclined. They go long. They go short. They go... It's very exciting. And I will be sorting out my my uh, I'll be sorting out my uh, place to make it dwarven a dwarven super highway. That's my plan in today's episode. Convert my railway network into a dwarven super highway. Oh yeah! And what else we're doing? Oh, the other thing we've acquired in this uh, update is the 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 small vault, which can hold ten thousand coins. I don't know how many coins I'm going to need because I've got 42 gold and apparently my current limit is 5 coins. So I should probably build some vaults otherwise all the other money I spend will just be like wasted. So we need to find a place to store my precious, precious gold. Uh, I don't know where we're going to store it. Maybe next to the reservoir? Doesn't seem like a very good place does it? I haven't really found a good spot really. Um, what about, what about up in the roof? No, because that seems like a stupid place to store it. Maybe in the deepest, darkest recesses of the dungeon. Not a dungeon, it's not a dungeon, it's a dwarven place. Um, I'm not sure. This is an unforeseen circumstance. Um, I, I guess. I, get, I, get, I don't really know. How big are they? How big are vaults? Big, big. They are tiny. <laughs> They're tiny. Look at the cute. They're so dinky. Dinky vault. So would they go in like? Can I put them in? They're not quite there. They're like four tall. Okay. All right. What's this? Oh, chests. I thought that's really weird looking. All right. So that means I'm gonna need someone to put them. Maybe, maybe in here. Oh, if I could stack them on. So if I was to stack them. I have to do like a stacking. Yeah. So I'll put one in there. One there. Right, we'll build four. We'll build four volts to start with. And we'll put in like some of this stuff. Of course, you saw right, me failing there. All right, All right, we'll put in these things. Haven't done any building. Hopefully the game isn't going to crash. I mean... It's not like hammering to crash on a patch day. It would never do that to me. Right. I'm going to build some more vaults, actually. A few more. A couple more. I've got like oh, 42 gold. I don't know how much that is. How much is required. Um, but I feel the need. Let's find out. Come now, lads. Dwarfs and dwarfettes. We probably need to build some sort of scaffolding. Let's 
Another interesting question. Can you build scaffolding over railways now? No. You still can't do that? No, still can't do that. There they are. The vaults. Very cute. How much can we store now? Oh my god. When I said I, I I was not prepared for this, right? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna need some more vaults, lads. Right. I mean, that's probably all right. Is it all right? Oh my god. So I can store one gold. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to need like 42 volts. I'm going to be building the fuckers everywhere. Really? Game? Could I have a large vault that stores 10? I can build four of them and I'd ha be happy. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, let me open the window. Sorry. There's... Something's happened today in my house, so sorry you might hear my garden. You might hear my garden, you hear the birds going off in my garden, mate. They tend to sing quite loudly during the day. Um they're not the world birds, so I can't do anything about them really. Well I could, I could go out there and like I don't know, throw stuff at them, but that you may hear them tw che tweeting in the background. But what's happened today is that uh, my guttering on my house is um while we're watching these builds, the guttering on my house has decided that it's gonna fill with crap. And I don't have a ladder, so I can't go out there and clean it out. And I don't like ladders anyway. Conceptually, they disturb me. High places. Not, I don't, you know, no fear of heights, just a fear of falling off stuff. Um, so I'm going to... So I've bought this, this kajiga so I can stick up my downpipe to unblock it. Because it keeps blocking with shit. Because I've got like a really mossy roof. It, it's a tale of woe, I tell you. But the reason why I have to open my window is because... I went out there with my coat on in the rain because it's pissing down and it's flooding my patio. That my, my guttering is now flooding my patio because it's not going down the drain. So I've had to try and sort of stick this kajigger up the drown pipe to try and get the fucker to clear, which it has done, but it's blocked like five times this afternoon because it's been pissing down. And um, so... So my coat is absolutely fucking ringing wet. And the worst news of all is I don't have any beer, so I have to go down the shot of a wet coat. I've got some real problems. I tell you. I tell you, you don't want to be me. <laughs> so that's, that's what's going on in my life right now. These things don't... Right, our limit is... We've built a bunch, so limit of 15 gold. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, that's, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So, so I have to open the window because currently I've got shoes, my shoes, my trainers, which are now soaked, and my jacket, which is now fucking soaked, are drying on the radiator because I've got the radiators on because it's summer and I've got the radiators on to dry my coat. But it feels like, like, I don't know, not exactly pleasant here. Right, um, I've got to sort out more storage. But I'm, uh, I'll worry about that later on. I mean, you know, they're gobbling up money. We've got 16 like a little vault wee bit here. They're going to be all right. They're going to be all right. <laughs> right. Time to make the mega railway super highway. Mega railway super highway. Let's start at the very beginning. Very good place to start. So they're going to only be able to get off at a rail station. So the big question I have in my mind, because previously you could build like train stations in front of buildings can you build rail stations in front of buildings oh my god that's a problem 
That was me just pausing going like, how the fuckity fuck am I going to fix this shit? So, just to double check that I'm not going mad. Not placeable, not placeable. Placeable, placeable. Oh no, this is... Uh, so how is this going to work? Let's dynamic, change things around, doesn't it? And presumably they can't get off at... Like they can't get off railway stations. Like, they can't just get off, like... They have to dismount in the normal in the normal way, I guess. Oh no! Oh god, could this be season seven coming up? I'm just worried that like I'm just worried that like my design of my current base. I never expected them to get rid of railway stations. Can they get out of this? Can they just get out of carts? No, they can't. Um. So that means you're not going to be able to put railway stations in front of light. Oh, dears. So I can, like... Let me just try some stuff. So if I get rid of you. No. I'll get rid of you. Yeah, that's good. You're stuck on that. So I build one like these. So they're like what? Quite a bit of stuff to build them. So can I put, can I put a, a railway here? Bugger. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not, this is not good. Sorry, I'm just reloading. <laughs> this reload hammer thing has died. Oh, no. Hmm. I feel like this has changed the dynamic in a way that I never expected it to actually happen. Let's see if it's going to fuck my save game. Or whether I have to go back to like... I do save like with a naming convention now, so I can go back to the start of the episode. But I don't really want to do that. Right, we got all our vaults. We got our money. We got that. So, let's... Oh, that's gone. So, can we build one of these rail stations then, game? Would that be possible? Because that'll be real annoying if we can't build a railway station. Maybe because like we've got an old school platform on there or something. Then we're going to come build it. Okay. So... If I like take out one of these things and then build like some rails. No? Yeah. No. I even even deleted it yet. Delete it already. Come on, get rid of that. I wanna see what happens. But I can build a, a rail on top of this thing. Right, so I should be able to build a rail there now. Right. Just looking at what's going on, really, and how I'm going to work around these things. I mean, I like it conceptually. I think it's really good. I think it's going to be great. I mean, that's a way of doing it there, the little jumpy over bit. But it's a bit annoying. Right, so what happens now then? Okay, that's quite cool. I mean, that is cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, that's really good, actually. Hmm. I suppose the only thing is I could rip out some of these things. I guess they never meant for you to have railway stations in front of the stuff. So I could, like... Because this is, like... So I can get rid of this. So if I delete this... Right, let's just move it back to a more reasonable speed as we go here. So we'll get rid of... Get rid of that. Come on, get rid of this. We've got rails to build. Oh, all right. Uh, like so. I mean, this is quite cool. The fact that we can build like a giant like railway system that like they actually use. So if I was to uh, like delete you, now I can build a long elevator. No, a oh god, this is this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> I mean, at least they can go like that. Right, so we've got to get get rid of you, and then probably get rid of. You and get rid of you. Replace you with railway lines. Uh, railway lines. Railway line, and obviously a, a platform just randomly there, and then put that in. Let's see how fast this speeds up the quality of life, really. So we've got to take that out there, that out there, that can stay, that's good. Put in railway lines. Fortunately, I've got a lot of rail, I've got a lot of people who can just build this stuff, so I've got like, I'm not limited like most normal folk. I don't know what a normal folk is in this game, but um, so if I get rid of that and then build that and then just put that in and then I could just link up like that there there that's good and then like there so it's gonna make shifting goods down to the bottom of the map like super fast super duper fast in fact I think that's that bit done. Oh, look how quickly they're going now. Apart from this guy who's just in there building stuff. Hmm. I'm just working out how I actually do it. Hmm. I suppose what I can have, instead of having like railway stations outside of these, outside of like these areas, so here, I could just have a rail and then have spots that where they just break off. So instead of this lot being points where they jump on and off, I just put like a platform here. I don't even do that. I mean, I just don't bother. I mean, if they need to, I suppose if they need to get there to actually do crafting, I'll, um, I'll just let them, what is outside here? It's like loads of beams. So many beams. Why have I got so many copper beams? I don't know. This is good though. Oh, look at that. They're not getting off stuff. So this, I can take this out here and take this out here and take this out here and then take this out here. Yep, yeah, that's good. And then I replace it with just like, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. Ooh. 
So that, that. Turns out that I designed something that worked quite well without even knowing it worked quite well. Admittedly, I need to sort of like think about these things going forward because the same, the things I've been doing aren't going to work anymore. So I need, I need to just be aware of that. But I really, I like it conceptually. I really do. Because I reckon stuff like this, look, if I build it, oh no, don't do that. If I just build a long railway here, like into there, I reckon that's going to be, I reckon that's going to happen super fast. Let's just look. Admittedly, the game is actually thinking about what's going on. But I reckon this guy, maybe this guy, no? Oh, this guy's like skittering along. Wait a minute. Oh, he's going into there, so he's not going to skitter that way. Oh, I've got to give this a high priority that it'll actually get done there. Right. Just look at the speed at which they do that. I mean, maybe I should change the way I build, like, I, I've taken to building, like, elevators with, um, like, two, two, like, um, scaffolds next to them. All right, yeah, because some of these are like building the ones like back. So, so this guy's building the one like right at the front here. So he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get there really fast. And all these ones are like, oh, I'm gonna build these ones. So they're gonna be really slow. But it it's good. So, so for example, this is what I was thinking. So if we need to deliver goods to these three buildings, what I would do was I would build a rail station at the, like I can't build it on top of the building. I might have to leave gaps in between sort of like important bits of construction. And then what I'll do is I'll just build long railways like, like so. Obviously I can't, I can't build it there. I've got to get rid of that bit there. And then I can build more long railways. Ooh, let me build long railways. Come on. I can't see what the f is going on there. Maybe it's too. Maybe I need to build little railways. Yeah, just little ones. Oh, it's a three space there. Yeah. So I build all that, like so. And then if people need to deliver stuff to these places, like, say, mithril or gold. Well, we don't need mithril at the moment. But they just kind of go, yeah, all right, we'll build it here. And then they can just deliver there. And if someone needs to, like, you know, go here, then they get off there and just go in there. Or they need to go here, they just, like, get off there or, or maybe there. Just to, And it'll just be, it'll be faster. They'll be able to deliver stuff faster. Look at this guy, riding a platform. I think he's riding a platform, that's why it's so weird. Yeah, <laughs> he's just riding a platform. Some people have got carts, but as you can see, that's working out nicely. Okay, I'm very impressed by this. I'm I'm, I'm actually quite uh, moderately excited. Whoa. A strange emotional experience to be excited about anything in life. I like that. Pretty cool. I'm not. I'm not so keen on the vaults though. I need a better way to. Start. Maybe I need. I'm not so keen because I haven't got a good way of doing vaults. But maybe like a, a room, big old room full of, full of like vaults would be quite cool. Like the vault room as opposed to just throwing those vaults in a corridor. Maybe like, maybe put an effort in to make this like the vault room. Put a door on it. Wow, that would be insane. So let's try and build. Let's see. Let's build like. Let's see what we could envision a vault room to look like. 
So we'll put that in there and then we'll get some bolts. Um, a vault room. All right. Let's see how cool it looks. That isn't cool because I put it in the wrong place. Right. Uh, small vault. So. How'd you go? You're looking weird. Stop it, game. Stop making it look weird. Right. Like that. And then we put more vaults in. I, I should hold down. Uh, maybe. The room of... No, that's not the room of vaults. That's not yet built a room of vaults, Oak. Okay. Building a room of vaults of of have I done it wrong again? Oh fuckity fuck. Right. No, cancel all this, right? No, I hate it. Right. <sighs> Start from the top. So vault room. Right, so that seems like a fairly nice place to close it in. So we'll put it like so. I don't know why you didn't build it there. That's weird. Why would you do that? Oh, because that's cornerstone in the in the room there. Okay, right. No, cancel. No. Oh, for fuck's sake! What is wrong with me today? Because it's too hot. We got some real, real first world. Pro oh, that's a little bit of cornerstone being a dick there. It's like yeah, dick. That little bit there. Okay, what about this bit then? Gonna let me build up here right yeah you are okay so this is going to be the so we're just going to put it in like that and that's going to make it easier to see anyway so good and then we build along like so and then we build along like so then build ourselves a wreck oh for fuck's sake oh well whatever all right the room of vaults is not going to be quite like that Now I'm just getting annoyed. No, hate you vaults. Right. I've got to find a better place. There you go. Vaults needed. Yeah, shut up, game. I've got to find a better place. What's that? It's just a shit place. Right, I need to find a better place. No. I mean, I think this maybe this was the right the the right and good place to do it. I've just I've just kind of got it wrong. So right. So let's do this then. Right. I swear this is going to be like the vault episode. Right. So that's a lot of that's a lot of structure there. Then to there. there. Right. And like that, 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 there. Right. And then the final layer, which we should be able to put in. We got a few. We can't really build there because that's cornerstone. No, it isn't. I don't know why it's not letting me put it there. Maybe there's a little bit of cornerstone sticking out, but yeah, there's a little bit of cornerstone sticking out. That nah, I can't put it in there. It must be on the background. That's fine though. That looks pretty impressive. And then what we do is we get this because we don't want any old any old stuff here. We want blocks. And then we seal it up right there and there and then we get rid of that yep. and then we do this 
don't really try to do these knives, so give me a minute. Well, we'll fix that bit in a bit. Don't worry, we'll fix that bit in a bit. Right, let's fast forward. Go, dwarves. You got shit to make. I want to see if I can make something cool. And then the correct way to do it will be stairs, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I will tear you down. Oh, don't do that. Tear you down. Cancel. 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 And then stairs. Where do I, where are we putting our stairs? Where are they? Fancy stairs. That's what you need. Hmm. Hmm. Clearly, clearly, they've never met the concept of a vault room before, have they? Everyone's very confused, as well as me. Right, prioritize it all. Just prioritize everything. This this lot. This is your priority. Do it. Useless dwarves. I mean, that doesn't look very good, does it? Take that out. And build across there. And then build like. No, how do you build blocks? C. I should know. I've been doing stuff for a very long time. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite going the way I envisioned it. Could do with a large vault room, to be honest. <laughs> Come build it faster. Let's see if we can find this. Also, let's see if we can find another dwarf to help out. Educated is good. No, that's all right actually. But uh, good, uh, good, good. They're hired. We won't double think it too much. All right. And actually managed to click on the right thing now. So good. Right. Come on, dwarves, build this glorious vault room. Oh, they're making little noises. Never used to make noises when they jumped around, did they? Uh, I don't even like the stairs now. No. They look a bit shit, don't they? They don't match up. It'd be annoying. Oh, well. Hopefully someone will take these, these stairs out. In a second. Ah, oh, we can just put um put these things out here. There we go. And then we can put more vaults in. More vaults are always good. More vaults. Oh my god, it's going to evil genius mode. getting there <laughs> no right, and then we could just um Build this way. We can worry about this bit in a second. 
and this bit oh should be able to dig that out yep yeah, right cool right so that is coming along now at least we've got enough money to store all our copious amounts of gold so i'm going to tear this stairwell down it's really bugging me no it's already torn down it's already been told Don't you seal yourself in there. Right. How much gold can we store now? Good, we're up to 44 gold. Never ever did I think I would be building little storage vaults for all my copious amounts of wealth. But you know, that's fine. Nor did I ever think I'd be a wealthy dwarf. Right. Don't like it, they're making noises. Well, that's done. It's good if they had like a block replace, but they, they don't. You know, if they could replace blocks as opposed to leave this stuff in. Because I do want like. I do would like you know I wouldn't like necessarily have this like all this artificial rock like this nice carved granite and then put this sort of like stuff in there because it looks a bit shit so I don't know nope yeah none of it's super optimum is it it's just like I don't know it's weird do they have items that are four stories tall I don't know not so much Four isn't really because that because their normal sizing is like what if these are if these are like four tall and that's like seven tall and these are like that's seven it's it's weird height that's all I'm saying one two Yeah, it's a weird, weird height this building. All right, is it a weird height? I don't know. I just have to check it out. Let's just put it somewhere where it can't be seen. So that's a vault there, and then we'll put it next to some other buildings, some standard buildings. So, say like a, say like a, a small foundry, right? And then we put in like another one, another vault. So you'd want to leave a gap. Yep. Yeah, see what I mean? It's like not quite. It's like that's a vault next to a, like a, a small foundry, and then let's put a vault next to say our oh, bog standard quarry. Small quarry. See, that's even that's even weirder. I'm not sure how much I like these vaults. They they've got strange sizings. Like that, and then like that, because you'd have to put one space because they need to like they need to have a gap in the middle of them. Oh, I suppose they wouldn't have to, but then it will look shit. If you build a vault and then like if you if you were to get rid of all that if you were to build a vault say um say like that and then another one on top and then another one on top and then what small one, two, I suppose. That would kind of work. What? And then you put like small stone bridges like there. And you sort of ignore the whole. I don't know, maybe not there. And you ignore the whole top of the building thing and then you sort of clip the top of the building off and you don't look at the top of the building so you sort of like you, you don't see that part of the building I don't know 
I'm freaked out by that. I've been working with standard dwarven architectural plans for such a long time that I don't understand. I'm slightly confused. But, you know, it's to make a terrible, terrible thing here. Um, uh, we've made Vault City. <laughs> uh, it looks quite cool. I mean, I like, I like, conceptually, I like the idea. But I just don't like the size of them. I think they're weird. They should be five high or something. So they fit with the standard sort of block sizes of what the dwarves like to do. I think the statement goes, oh, I don't like it. It's weird. It's freaking me out. <laughs> it's like, okay. But, right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this new look at vaults and the new railways and, and the confusion that is undoubtedly going to cause me and, and my mull mulling over whether to... Do I start a new Let's Play of this? I don't know. Maybe maybe, you, maybe you'd have an opinion. Maybe you have an opinion on that. That would be awesome if you have. I'm more than happy to uh, see what you think. Do I start a new Let's Play? Because my, my plan is all going to be a jigger. Oh, God, they got there quick, didn't they? Look at that. I suppose that's the magic of the new railway system. Um, Do I start a new Let's Play? Do I do I do something else? I don't know. Maybe, like I say, maybe you know. But if you, you have enjoyed this uh, episode, if you enjoyed the content on the channel, That'd be awesome if you could subscribe, like, it really is going to help us grow. And, um, yeah. And if you've got this far, then I'd just like to say thank you. And I will see you for the next episode, whatever goes up on the channel. Bye.